here. All right, here we go, guys. Just wanted to do. <laughs> Just wanted to do. A... We should probably talk about that in in our next uh, cafecito Thursday. No. You're still laughing about that? Yeah. We're gonna do some cactus paintings, okay guys? Those of you who are like, dude, this guy's the world's greatest living artist. Of course I am! Of course I am. Okay, so here we go. Look, first for it's not all about the outline, but it does help. There's a name for it. I forgot what it's called. Uh Paul Galgon and some other dude were practicing that and, and someone says that there's a name for that somewhere in France or Italy that, that you make the paintings look sort of like stained glass right because you're you're creating this very strong outlines and then you color them in um, it's not to make it look it's not to make it easier it's to paint a bit more direct so you make a bit a, a few uh, uh, a few outlines like this as if you were drawing and however you want to do them right if you're a, a loose artist loose brush painter or whatever and this is my cactus and some flowers this is how I'm gonna do it cuz I'm cause I'm a freaking badass like that yeah and uh, happy little happy little happy little cactus yeah <laughs> so and then we make some uh, you know happy little stuff like this and now i'm gonna use the back of my brush but the reason why i use the back of my brush is because i'm freaking cool like that so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like that you know why because we we what we're we... look most people think that you are painting with this because you're like oh my god i gotta dominate no this is what you're trying to dominate this you're trying to dominate this and you're trying to dominate your freaking cabeza your head. You're trying to dominate your head. So how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, one way that I do that, okay, it's not the paint. Some people are like, I love the economy of your paint. But it's not the paint I'm trying to dominate. It's my hand and my head what I'm trying to dominate. And the way that I do that is that I'll stick with it, meaning I'll keep this contact, right? There has to be contact. And one way that I can assure that without making a big old like super crazy mess is instead of just keep painting I'll switch it and I'll keep the contact why because I'm trying to dominate my arm into 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 resting and not get cray on me into resting because many times when you're not ready you you start doing this you pull out you pull out you know pulling out is not the best strategy guys <laughs> it's not, it's just not it's just not you know so, so you don't want to paint and go like that. You want to stay there. You want to stay there. When you're painting, you want to stay there. So if you can't stay there doing this, then flip it and start doing this. But you want to have contact continuously. Does that make any sense? Jeez and crackers. Let's see. I will attempt to apply your technique to nails and see what happens. See, there you go. Make me proud. Go conquer the nail world. Make me proud. Already feeling proud about that. Now I'm gonna come up with this this happy little big brush number ten. All right, here we go. <laughs> I want to do a video like Bob Ross, and I'll be like, "Where are those fucking little happy trees?" <laughs> see, so you want to keep contact. There we go. See, you want to keep contact. Look, keep contact. See, oh baby, see. Speed comes from the contact. It does not come because you're all freaking frantic about it. It comes from the contact. Okay? You remind me of Bitch in Kitchen. I love that. I haven't seen that, but I'll, I got to check it out. <laughs> it already sounds like something I would watch. <laughs> so see, you want to keep the contact, baby. Keep the contact. Like Eric Cartman would say, Embarrado, embarrado. I'll keep the contact right there. Look, here, see, and 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 if you have excess paint, this is a little trick, okay, that I do. If you have excess paint, look, why not apply it somewhere else? See, the whole the the, the problem is that is that there's not enough contact. 
contact, contact, or apply it somewhere else. And the painting, you know, like make sure. And if, and if it's like, and if it's like getting mean on you, <clears throat> shank it a little bit. <clears throat> Take that, you know, just so you can dominate it. There we go. Very good. Love that. I'm gonna get some happy little yellow now. This is some happy little yellow right here. Look for my flowers. Look at that. I want to keep contact. See, I don't want to do this. I want to keep contact. Contact. I want to keep contact. You see, I want to keep contact. See? It's like flipping tortillas and shit around here. Okay? I want to keep contact. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense because sometimes people are like, dude, does it make sense? It makes sense in my mind. You know, it's like stand and deliver here. Did you just say stand and deliver? Yeah. <laughs> with, with Jaime Escalante. No? Yeah. Check it out. Mmm, tortillas. Yeah, who doesn't want tortillas? I want tortillas right now. I know this little cool, awesome little place where I get the best handmade tortillas. I think I'm going to go after that in a bit. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look at my my studio is close to downtown, and there's a there's a, a, a an old barrio here that makes the best Mexican food. That's where I'm gonna go right now. Look at that. Mm. There we go. Keep the contact. May you see my palette? Yes, you may. Yes, you may see my palette. Check it out. Boom. Okay, titanium white. No, actually, I'm not using titanium white today. I'm using soft mixing white. Phthalo blue, viridian. That yellow is, uh, what is it called? Cad yellow, pale. Pale, okay, it's gotta be pale. Look at this. This is walnut oil. Walnut oil. I use it to wash my brush. Ooh, la la. And to soften the paint. And then right there, that's cat red, okay? That's deep cat red. Uh, this is uh, dioxin purple. And this is uh, fuchsia, baby. Look at that. Fuchsia, fuchsia, baby. Fuchsia. And then right here, I see uh, uh, this is Mars Black. Mars Black is like the coolest black ever. Because it's like, it's, just, it's, got, it's got everything I need. It dries fast and... Uh, Thank you so much. It dries fast and it also stays black. So it's not, it doesn't go gray on me or anything like that. It stays black. So I love that. Okay. Uh, it's just what I've tested and I tried and just what I love and that's what I use. So, you know, FYI. So now I'm going to go back with some other colors. Check it out. I'm going to go back with some other colors. Now that I put some, uh, some greens in there. I'm gonna go back with some purples and, and a little bit of fuchsia because I'm because I'm cool like that. Look at that. Hmm? Happy little trees. This is happy little nopales, baby. These are some happy little nopales. Mmm, nopales. Check it out. Back where I'm from and, and uh, originally uh, in Mexico, uh, I know some people are like, are like mm, when they think about Mexican food, they talk about beans and rice and whatnot, but this is the actual delicacy nopales, prickly pear cactus. Okay, those of you who don't know, now you know. This is actually, we make just about everything out of these babies. The fruit, we make candy out of. Um, all kinds of uh, juices, um, even some type of bread, all kinds of stuff. And out, out of the plant, um, we make just about everything, man. It's a side dish. It's a salad. It's a. It's a. It's like a vitamin juice. <laughs> it's everything. My mom used to give me like a vitamin juice made out of. Food. This suckers. She used to blend herself. Look at that. Ooh la la. 
Look at that. See? Keep the contact. Gotta keep the contact. Keep the contact. And then here we go in here. Look. Keep the contact. See? But what I'm trying to do is I don't want to steal the spotlight either, right? Of the of the of the prickly pear. You see, it's there. I don't want to steal it. This is why I start with the very dark, bold black. Because I know I'm going to eat some, right? I'm going to eat some of it, right? The, the, the brush is going to take some of it, but I don't want to steal it. And wherever there's dark, I don't want to go with another dark, unless it's darker or lighter, okay? Does that make any sense? It doesn't matter if it's medium or if it's just pure color. I'm gonna find a way where I can go lighter or darker. These, these are, I'm, I've never given you guys a video like this. These are all things that are in the back of my mind all the time, even even though I'm moving fast. These, these are all things that are being applied at the same time. This is a little test uh, of some of the videos that I'm gonna be releasing, um, where of course I'm gonna act way more serious. <laughs> for painter videos yeah you're like man i want to learn how to paint like jose trujillo is the world's greatest living artist and whatnot you know this is how we do it this is how we do it in my studio look at that see see um it's almost like conducting an orchestra it's like see it's like there we go look there's there's a there's a there's a there's a rhythm there's a pasento there's a rhythm going on. It, it, and a lot of artists go, and then they go paint, and they go. And I'm like, I don't like that. I just don't like it. I don't like the whole, oh. And then they go like this. Like, they don't touch it. They act like they're going to touch it, and they do like this three, four times, and then they go, okay. Right, cool. Right? Whatever. It's not for me, baby, though. You see? If I'm going to waste some energy, I'm going to waste energy on the canvas. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to air guitar my way into a painting. I'm actually going to touch it. And the moments that I don't want to put more paint, I'll flip it. And I'll start carving into the painting. You know? I'll go back to it, see? But I want to touch the painting. I want to touch it. There we go. All right? <laughs> if that made any sense, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this little segment. Boom, baby. My name is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. <laughs> Serious is, is underrated. Totally. All right, guys. You guys take care. Uh, much love. I send you my love. All right. Adios, amigos. Talk to you soon. Oh, let me show you what it looks like. Like Boom, baby. Look at that. Boom, baby. Brooklyn Park Cactus. Somewhere in the Arizona desert. I guess any desert, huh? This, this baby, you can find them anywhere in the world. All right, guys. Take care. Adios.